What's happening ladies and gentlemen, this is Min for Architecture Inspirations. Today I'm going to show you 10 reasons why you must try D5 Render. Stay until the end to get a chance to win a pro version of D5. Let's get started. Number 1. It has a free version. First of all, D5 has a free version which is available for download. Unlike many other softwares with very short length free trials and limited features, the free version of D5 Render is watermark free and does not have any limitation on the render resolution. You can go to d5render.com and download a free version to try for yourself. Number 2. Compatible with many software. D5 Render is compatible with many softwares. What's even better is you can also download plugins which allows you to live sync your model from your favorite 3D software to D5 Render. Here I'm using SketchUp, but D5 Render is also compatible with 3ds Max, Revit, Rhino, Archicad, Blender, etc. Number 3. Ultra Realism Not only does it have a great free version, it is also capable of producing extremely realistic renders. Whether you are an interior designer, a residential architect, or an urban planner, D5 can help you produce the best images for your project. Number 4. Great Material System One of the reasons why D5 Render can produce such realistic renders is because it has a PBR or a physically based rendering material system where the material properties are stored in individual texture maps. With some basic knowledge of PBR maps, you can easily recreate realistic materials in D5. In addition, D5 also has material templates and intuitive sliders, which help makes it even easier to create and optimize materials with very little knowledge of PBR maps. If you want an even faster way to create materials, D5 Render has a huge library of realistic materials where you can easily import and apply to your objects. The free version of D5 includes lots of free materials that you can use, but if you want to get the full library, then you can purchase the pro version of D5. Number 5. Large Assets Library Besides having materials in the library, D5 also has other 3D assets that you can use to populate your scene. The assets include nature objects like plants and trees, character objects like people and animals, as well as vehicles, decorations, and furniture. The furniture models are from real brands which is super cool. When placing vegetation, you can use a set of tools to quickly place assets in your scene. These tools include the brush, scatter, and path tool. As you can see, with the large amount of materials and 3D objects along with the placement tools, D5 makes it really easy to build up your scene in a short amount of time. And similar to the materials in the library, even though D5 offers lots of free 3D assets, if you're interested in getting the full library with more than 8,000 assets, then you can sign up for a pro version. The library gets updated continuously with new assets, so there are lots of customization possibilities in D5. Number 6. Customizable Possibilities Another part that adds to the high customization in D5 is the environment settings, for which you can choose either the Geo and Sky system or the HDRI system. For the Geo and Sky system, I can adjust the time of day and the north offset. These settings will affect the sun's location and its lighting. If you want to be even more precise, then you can set a specific date as well as the longitude and latitude. This is extremely useful for recreating accurate real-world lighting for your project. There are also sliders for the sun intensity and the disk size. When using the Geo and Sky system, you can also customize the clouds with these parameters here. Instead of using the Geo and Sky system, I can also use the HDRI which comes with many presets. Or I can import a custom HDR image. Then I can adjust the other settings such as the light's intensity and rotation. Next to the environment tab is the effect tab, where you will find tools like the lookup tables or LUTs and the post-processing parameters like exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, etc. These tools make it really easy to edit your renders right inside of D5 without having to rely on post-production software like Photoshop. However, if you do want to use Photoshop when you export an image, you can choose to export the different channel maps such as the sky mask, ambient occlusion, material ID, etc. which can make it easier for you to edit your renders even more in post-production. Number 7. Fast and Efficient 
As you have already seen from the previous examples in this video, we can be very productive when working with D5 because of its high efficiency. This is because of it being a real-time render software. In an adjustment I make, whether it be applying the material to an object, adding a 3D asset to my design, or changing the lighting of my scene, it all happens in real time. If you go onto the D5 Render website, it has a list of recommended specifications for your computer configuration. In D5, if you click on this button, you will be able to choose between three options of real-time preview quality. Just choose whichever is the best fit for your system configuration. Even if your computer is not capable of handling the high-quality preview settings, you can still produce realistic images in just a few minutes. Here you can see I was able to render a 4K image in just a couple of minutes thanks to the boost of RTX accelerated hardware. Number 8. Capable of handling large scenes What's even more impressive is that D5 can handle large scenes. From a detailed interior project like this, to a large urban planning project like this. The most impressive large-scale project that I have seen that was done in D5 was this project here, which was one of the winners from the latest D5 render challenge. I will also leave a link to the video highlights of all the winners in the description box so you can see what's possible in D5 Render. Number 9. Animation And as you can see from the quick highlight clip, not only can D5 produce amazing images, but the quality of animation in D5 is even more impressive. With the animated assets like people and animals in D5, along with tools like pass animation, you can easily make your 3D scene come to life. The Bezier curve makes it really easy to map out the paths for characters and vehicles to simulate real-life city traffic. In the D5 library, there are also other animated assets called dynamic particles, which include fire, fountain, smoke, etc. These are great for adding animated effects to your scene. In the environment tab, you can use the weather system to enhance the atmosphere in your scene. You will see settings for clouds, fog, wind, and precipitation, which adds rain or snow to your scene. Note that the cloud settings are only available when you use the geo and sky system. As for the precipitation effect, you can use the first slider to switch between rain and snow. The string slider determines the intensity of how much it's raining or snowing. And the last slider controls how much rain and snow are on the ground. In the pro version of D5, you can enable widgets. There are multiple types, but my favorite is the projector widget, which, as the name suggests, will let you project an image or a video onto a spot in your scene. Number 10. D5 is always improving and updating. For example, in the latest version of D5, there are lots of new assets added to the library. Also, the cloud and fog effects have also been improved. And now you can add round edges to objects by adjusting the slider on its materials. And those are the 10 reasons why you have to give D5 Render a try. To download the free version of D5, go to the link in the description box below. I'm also giving away 3 pro versions of D5. All you have to do is leave a like on this video, be subscribed to my channel, and leave a comment below and let me know what is the first project that you render in D5. Anyway, that's all for today. Stay inspired guys, and I'll see you next time.